The conference was called Learning to Live Together and it was about uh, essentially following up the Commonwealth Commission on Pathways to Peace and the need to promote respect and understanding through education throughout Commonwealth countries. What was the highlight of the conference as far as you're concerned? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I think the possibility to influence uh, governments and to promote Commonwealth cooperation in the field of education. In a, in a period in our history when we do have conflict within countries, we do have misunderstanding, uh, we do have stereotyping, which is counterproductive. We have to learn to live together uh, within each Commonwealth country and as a family of countries. So, so to promote once more the values which, uh, which make us a members of the, of the Commonwealth. And uh, do you think that the conference did what it wanted to do? Ah, yes. I mean, we did look at some of the difficulties which some countries face. Uh, the problems, for example, in Pakistan, of uh, the tribal areas, the problems of reconstruction of countries after periods of conflict, uh, but also the problems which we face even in developed countries, where uh, many young people have become not really part of the democratic process, not knowing how to participate, not understanding their rights, not respecting the rights of others. So there is a sort of, if you want, a, a vacuum in our education system which has been perhaps uh, overly concerned with, with jobs and making money and not concerned with the full development of, of young people and the giving young people in particular the skills and knowledge necessary for their voice to be heard. And what will, in a sense, be the result of the conference? Will it just be one of those conferences that we all forget about? or will something happen as a result of it? As a result of the conference, we will be producing, uh, with the help of the uh, Commonwealth Intergovernmental Organisation, handbooks uh, on some of the issues like human rights education, education for citizenship, democracy, uh, providing training programmes and workshops uh, in collaboration with the organisations we represent from the Commonwealth uh, to bring people from the Commonwealth together uh, for training purposes, uh, Commonwealth exchanges, Commonwealth scholarships with a greater focus on human rights, uh, democracy, respect and understanding. Uh, also to promote, I think, uh, an interfaith dialogue so that we better understand not only the cultures but also the belief systems of, uh, of the, of the uh, various faiths which make up our multicultural societies. And what the address the needs of a variety of the youth groups? How should the Commonwealth mobilize these collective resources to give new hopes and opportunities to the youth? How best could the Commonwealth governments share resources in order to increase time at all ages, whatever the student's circumstances, to bring out the treasure hidden within Well, I think the Commonwealth is hugely important as a vehicle that connects a range of countries, different backgrounds, different histories, different continents, but a shared history that has been refashioned and it will clearly be important in the 21st century. So I've come as much to learn as to explain to people what the United Kingdom is doing, how we're approaching issues like higher education. And uh, it was very interesting uh, to hear the president of Namibia talking about youth and young people and the position that students occupy in his country, particularly. Um, and I think the Malaysians have put on a fantastic occasion uh, to mark this 50th opportunity for the Commonwealth to come together in this way. And what will you particularly take back with you to the UK? Well, I think that what strikes me as one speaks to fellow education ministers is just the breadth of issues that different nations and countries are facing. So we learn from each other, I think, 
uh, and uh, I find it both an inspiring but also a humbling opportunity. And of course we are absolutely committed to the Millennium Goal and the targets that we have set ourselves in the world to ensure that much more of the world's population are receiving the education that they deserve as of, as of right and as of human right. Thank you very much. The United Nations Alliance of Civilizations was formed to address the rifts between cultures in, uh, between civilizations and it works to counter the forces of polarization and extremism. It is now evolving towards uh, becoming the premier UN platform for the good governance of cultural diversity because we believe that in the world that we are living in, conflicts often occur because of cultural dimensions and that the increasing diversity of the world means that good governance of cultural diversity is important to unlock the full potential of individuals in society. And, and tell me, why are you at this conference, this uh, Commonwealth, uh, this conference of Commonwealth Education Ministers? I'm here at this conference of Commonwealth Education Ministers. Uh, firstly, because I was invited. Uh, <laughs> secondly, because the this theme of faith, culture, and social cohesion is very closely related to, to some of the stuff that the Alliance is doing. The Alliance, as I mentioned, is very closely interested in issues of good governance of cultural diversity. Well, uh, education for social cohesion is one of, the, uh, one of the policies that results from the good governance of cultural diversity. So we are here to encourage and offer our support to both the Commonwealth and the Commonwealth Foundation and associated Commonwealth agencies, as well as to partner with the Commonwealth and NGOs, academic institutions, and other organizations from Commonwealth countries that have an interest in this area. And what things have come out do you think that will uh, benefit your organization and the Commonwealth? I think what uh, the things that have benefited me is just to meet the range of people from Africa and Asia particularly who form part of the Commonwealth. The ability to meet people from Africa and Asia and tell them about the Alliance has been really useful for me because I think very often because of our concentration in Europe and the Middle East, uh, Asia and Africa is an area that we need to do more outreach to. So the, uh, the conference in Kuala Lumpur provided a really good opportunity for us to do outreach about the Alliance to the Commonwealth community. I think that what is useful for the Commonwealth community is to see that at the global level there is an interest from a United Nations initiative in these issues of education for social cohesion, of understanding and respect that can be a site for the dissemination of the work that the Commonwealth is doing in this area. Thank you very much.